welcome to the short chef. Uh, nothing to do with the fact that I am just under six foot, but the fact that I am actually wearing shorts. I have got my apron on though, and uh, if we just track over here, in these times of happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, and again, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Right, that's that bit done. Okay. Come on, Clive. Keep up. Okay. Right, tonight we are going to do uh, kedgeri, which is, I believe, an Indian breakfast dish. And if we can just have a look at the ingredients here, just down, we have some mushrooms, some spinach, uh, going off piece a little bit there, uh, an onion, some eggs, uh, a lemon. We've got some wild garlic here because it's nice and uh, nice and in season. Uh, we've got some cheating rice. Um, I'll have a little word about that later, but uh, uh, basically that's going to microwave as it says there in two minutes. We've got some smoked mackerel. We've got some parsley. Uh, we've got some rapeseed oil, some butter, and a couple of bits of spices here. Uh, medium curry, salt and pepper, a little bit of cream, and I think that's about it really. Um, Tonight, uh, obviously, you've got me, the short chef, and you've also got uh, our cameraman here, a show called Clive. Okay, uh, anybody who's in the know will know why I'm calling Clive. And if you're not in the know, you need to get in the know. Uh, and also, I'm dedicating tonight to uh, a fellow called James McLean, who unfortunately hasn't been able to get out lately and won't be able to get out for the next 10 weeks. Uh, that's between uh, James and the rest of the world and, uh, and me. Okay. So, um, we've done the ingredients. What we need to do now is we're gonna put some eggs on. So hopefully, yeah, I've prepared this boiling pan earlier. And we're gonna put these eggs on to uh, sort of semi softy, sort of hardish boil. So I'm just gonna pop them in like so. I'm gonna leave the lid off so I can keep an eye on them. And we're just gonna to turn that on on there like that. Uh, we're going to set the timer off and we are going to do uh, about five minutes 50 because I kind of want them soft but not hard but not hard kind of soft so we'll pop that on there like that. Okay where's he gone? Where's the camera gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh he's here. Oh, hi. Okay so chopping methods for legal reasons, we're going to chop this onion the way that I need to tell you how to chop it. So there are two methods of chopping this onion. There's the bridge grip, looks like a bridge, if you squint, I suppose. And then there's the claw grip, which I'll come on to in a minute. Bridge grip, we're going to bridge this onion like so, and we're going to cut the end off just like so. We're going to tip it on its end, just like that. We're going to put the clippings into the little box over there because we've got a compost heap now, hasn't everybody, since they're not picking your garden waste up anymore. And then we can turn those onto the side. Let's keep the, the mush, the muck that we're not using off the edge of the board. And let's just keep the bits that we are using on the board. So we can give it a little peel. And so you can leave the, the end on it. And it might actually turn out to be quite useful if you leave the end on. Ah, we'll just leave that on that. And we'll take this bit off as well. There we are. Is everybody warm enough? because uh, it is about 3,000 degrees in here. Um, if uh, Clive just spins around very carefully, you'll be able to see that we've, uh, we've got the sight um, lighting in, up there in the corner. Normally used for lighting at workshops and so forth, but uh, we thought we might need some light to get the good side of me. Have we got the good side? Got the, got the good, good side? Yeah, okay, good. So, uh, claw grip, so we've done the bridge grip, claw grip, so we're going to claw the top of the onion like slow. Actually, we can go to the back of the onion and we're just going to do half moons. So-called half moons because, look at that, it looked like a half moon. How's that? So we're going to do this rather swiftly. You can, of course, take your time. And there we go. And we just put the bit that we don't need over there. We can put the onions into our little dish over here where we've already prepared some mushrooms as well. There we go. And also in the little ramekin here, Clive, on the ramekin, we've got some parsley stalks and we have also some wild garlic stalks, which we're going to cook a little longer than we did the other fresh herbs because they are quite tough. 
but they will give us a lot of flavour. All right, so into there like that. That's that done. Mushroom wise, uh, all I've done is I just slice them basically. Just a little bit of a claw grip there and slice them. And probably that's, oop, that's probably about enough. We'll leave that one down there. Okay, so eggs are on. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of rapeseed oil into the pan there, just like that. Don't need a massive amount. And then we are gonna light the burner, like so. Eagle eyes amongst you might have noticed that this is the legend that is Ken Holmes' walk. Good old Ken. There we are. So we're just gonna put some heat into that pan now. We don't need a tremendous amount of heat into it. Um, if we were cooking meat, for instance, we'd probably wanna get it nice and hot, but because we're just gonna saute some onions, we can just add those in. We can put our stalks in like so. And actually, I'm just gonna put the mushrooms in as well. Just for ease. There we go, just like that. While that's heating up, I'm just gonna put those over by the washing up area. Hopefully Clive doubles up as a KP later on. Um, we'll just give that a quick toss. There we go. And we're gonna put the rice on. So the rice is gonna go into the microwave for just a couple of minutes. And we are actually gonna transfer it into the pan. So this is kind of like just a preheat sort of thing, okay? Quick slurp. Ah, and there we go. Right, quick tidy up. There we are, rubbish into there. What have we got left? Some fresh herbs chopped up there. I've actually pre-chopped some of the parsley here. And I'm gonna add the, uh, the butter in in a while. But I will at this stage put some curry powder in there. There's probably about a teaspoon in there. But if you really like the flavor of curry, you could put a little bit more in. So we'll just pop a little bit more in there. And uh, we'll also put some salt and pepper in there. There we go. I really like pepper, so we're putting quite a lot of turns in that. We've got 20 turns in that. There it goes. And uh, we'll just do a quick flip. There we are. Whoops. Bits and pieces flying everywhere. And a little bit of salt. We can always add some more salt later on, but the mackerel is likely to be quite salty. Uh, let's see what we got. Stirring spoon here. So if you're not quite adept at um, throwing the ingredients around in the pan with a handle, you can always give it a little stir, just like that. There we go. Okay, so we'll leave that on its own for a moment, and we will deal with the mackerel. So, um, just take the mackerel. If this is bog standard mackerel, uh, smoked mackerel out of uh, a famous German um, supermarket, beginning with A, not L. All right, we're just gonna put that in there. I'm actually gonna take the skin out, I think. Take the skin out, so I'll just peel it off. Skin can go on the compost heap as well. There we go. There it is. There's my eggs calling. So Clive, can you just turn the eggs off if you can get the right pan there, all right? And uh, all we'll do is we'll just leave them in there for a few minutes. There they are. That is, I wish we had a smell of it, because that absolutely smells lovely, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think it smells nice? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it smells nice. Clive says it smells nice. There we are. That's all the mackerel in there. We'll get rid of that. There we are. Put that in the bin. Wash the hands. No happy birthdays this time. There we are. And turn the annoying beep off. There it is. There we go. Let's take the... Yeah, a mushroom mix and just give that another swish around like so and I'm just going to drop the butter in there as well I think it just needs a little bit of liquid in there so I'm just going to throw that in that over there and there we are eggs out and there we are drain the eggs that hot water is clean that can go in there there we are. Um, whoop, peeling the eggs, not quite so easy. Just gonna cool those off. There we are. And I'm just gonna peel them into here, like so. The eggshells can go into compost as well. 
So we'll put those in later. And we'll just pop that egg into that. There we are. And a little bash. There we go. Peel those off. Oop, that's quite warm. Ow, 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 ow. There we are. Spot on. Okay, oop, eggshell. Eggshell alert. There we are. Take that out. Fantastic. That's cooking down nicely now. We'll just give that another go. There is actually one ingredient I've forgotten about as well. Um, normally you put uh, peas in this, but I suppose I'm putting the spinach in to give it a little bit of green. So, so let's have a go at uh, dealing with the spinach. So, bridge grip, lemon through like so. Um, not happy about this, so just gonna have a little tiny up there. There we are. There it is. Into the compost heap pile. Oh yeah, that, is, that is looking lovely. Clive, have a look in there. Yeah. That is really looking quite nice. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, pan on at the back here for the spinach. Now, mm. all I'm going to do with the spinach is I am literally just going to put a splash of water into this pan, just a tiny splash like so, and then I'm going to squeeze, whoa, half the lemon in, just like that. Yeah, there it is. Job done. Uh, compost heat. There we go. No need to look at this bit, Clive. Compost heat. There we are. Quick wash of the hands again. And back over to the action area. There we are. Alright, we're just going to set that off the heat for a minute. And I'll just bring that onto the front so we can see what we're doing with the spinach. And I'll put the spinach pan lid on so that we bring that up to the heat. And actually while we're waiting, what I'll do is, I will cut these eggs. Oh, look at that. How good's that? That's just how I wanted them. Into four, just like so. And actually I'm just gonna leave them on there because I'm gonna use them to decorate the plate. And we eventually serve up, which actually shouldn't be that long. There we are. Whoops. There we go. I think we're done with the knife now. So we can get rid of that, get rid of the pop that on there, just like that. Wash the hands again. We're gonna keep the spoon. Get rid of the ramekin. There it is. Don't waste the jelly. Eggshells into the compost heap pile. And there we are. I can see now from the pan on the front that the steam coming out of it. So all we need to do now is take the lid off, get the spinach, and all at, watch how much spinach is there and watch how much comes out. All right, you ready? There we go. Spinach in. There we are. Give it a quick stir. Here we go. Here's the, watch the magic happen. Right. Sometime in between, I reckon the rice must have finished there as well. Mm -hmm. Can you see what's happening to the spinach? What we call that is we call that wilting. So we're just wilting that spinach down. Don't need the back ring now, so we'll get rid of that. There you are. There's that spinach just wilting down. See how the massive quantity that we had and it's reduced to almost nothing. There we go. All right, I'm actually gonna take that off the heat now and just leave it to one side for a minute. Okay, so right now, this is the magic part. This is where it all happens. We are literally seconds away from finishing. So, heat back on. Rice out. Rice in. More rice in. There we are. Did I mention 
that this might serve three greedy people or four normal sized humans. No? Well, if I didn't, that's what it does. There we are, we'll just mix that in nicely. There we are. Just have a little taste. So what do you think of that? More salt. I need some more salt. There we go. Good. Give that another stir through. I'm going to turn that down, seems like it's sticking to the bottom a little, there we are, take that off the heat just slow for a minute, I'm just going to put the mackerel in, there we go, make sure we get all of that in, lovely, there we are, washing up pile again, stir that through, remember the mackerel's already cooked, so we're not actually having to cook it. We've got the spinach that's cooked there as well now. And on the left hand side here, we've also got the, uh, the eggs which are already cooked. Right, I'm just gonna test that again now. It's much better now that I put the fish in. Okay, spinach in. There we go. A little bit of juice in there as well. Put all the goodness through it. There we are. Add <coughs> <coughs> that out. Back on the heat. Stir through. And literally, that is it. Is that uh, Okay, I'm just going to turn that off, there we go, that's all the rings off, job done. Well, we'll just leave that there for a moment. Okay, so, serving. There we go, nice bowl, a nice spoon somewhere. There we go, so we're going to have a nice heaped bowl in here. So, and we are going to put on some parsley there, just like that, give it a bit of height, scatter it out. We're going to put some wild garlic tops on there, just like that. Again, give it a little bit of height. There we are, and we're just going to finish it off with some pieces of egg, just like so. There we are. A little touch of black pepper. There we have it. Kidgeri. Without the cream. Oh well, win some, lose some. Enjoy.